Good day, lovely people. I am up early in the morning. It's 9.30 in the morning on a Tuesday morning. It's kind of gloomy outside today. I feel like it's going to rain. But anyway, I am going to be cooking ribs. I'm going to show you all how I cook my ribs. And remember, I'm still eating healthy, so I have to make sure there's not a lot of sodium in my food. So I'm going to take you on this journey with me how I make ribs. All right, so what I'm going to do, I am going to out my, um, you hear music in the background, that's my granddaughter. So I'm going to get out my crock pot, right? So what I do with this is, um, I use the crock pot to, um, not simmer or saute, but like cook it all the way through till the meat like really falls off the bone. So that's what I'm using this crock pot for. So it can slow cook. I love cooking in crock pots. It's like a slow cook. So I'm going to um, turn it on all the way high. I'm going to plug it up. I'm going to get my ribs out. I'm going to wash them off and I'm just going to put them in there. I'm not going to put no seasoning in there. Um, I would normally put like some lemon, um, some pepper and all of that stuff. But I'm not going to do that um, at all. Just gonna wipe out the inside. You did it. You learned your ABCs. Okay, so when we finish that, we're gonna write them, okay? Okay. So I'm just gonna wipe it out. Mommy, look. I gotta jump it. Mommy, look. Jump, 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 jump. You gonna jump? Yes. Okay. Let me see you jump. Alrighty, you jumping. So I'm going to pull out my bread. I don't know if you all freeze your bread. I freeze this my bread. Um, if I don't use them in a timely fashion, I freeze them. Because if not, they will um, start to mold. And I don't want my bread to mold. So these are my ribs that I'm going to be using. Um, they are center cup pork ribs um, slices um, they have just enough meat on them so I'm going to be using those I'm going to wash them off I have dishes in my sink I don't know why I, did. I don't like to cook in a dirty kitchen I'm just so I have been so lazy here lately I'm just going to take this out and put it to the side put this stuff to the side so I can Clean off my ribs. So what I'm basically going to do, I'm just going to wash my ribs off. Okay, they're frozen. So I love to put them in a crock pot frozen. I'm simply because they can just unthaw as they slow cooking. And it's just me. My husband is still away. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's six. Two, three, four. I think it's six. But so anyway, I'm gonna eat some today, and I'm gonna take some to work on tomorrow. And I will show you all what else I am going to cook with my ribs. Okay, I'm just going to get this part off of it. And again, I think it's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I want to say it's six. It might be seven. I'm not for sure. And so what I do, I just rinse it off really, really good. And then I'll just take it. And I'll just put it straight on in the crock pot. And I'll just put the top over it and let it cook. And then I'm going to show you all how I make my sauce. I, Well, I don't really make my sauce, but I just like doctor it up. And I'm going to tell you, my sauce is super, super good. It is really, really good. Um, My kids love my barbecue chicken and they love my, um, my rinse because the way of how I do my... Um, my sauce. So, stay tuned. Just stay tuned. Mommy, mommy, let's go jump. <laughs> she wanna jump. <laughs> okay, I'm back and I'm gonna show you. This is five hours later um, of how my ribs look. Um, so let me show you all. I like baking a little bit sitting in here. 
but this is how the ribs look in the crock pot. Okay. So what I'm about to do now, I'm about to get my um, my sauce ready to show you. All right, so I have myself a bowl, of course. I am so tired. I laid my grandbaby down and I'm sleeping myself. So I have myself a bowl, right? I have my original um, barbecue sauce, just slow simmer. I have honey. These are all the ingredients that I put inside of my, um, my barbecue sauce. I have my honey. You can get any honey you want. I use king syrup. I use yellow mustard, excuse me. I'm so sleepy. I use yellow mustard. This is like for the tangy taste of it all. I'll put some more sugar in here. I used, hold on, hold on. Let me get my pepper. I'm looking outside because my dog, he goes into the next yard and he just be doing his business. I have some black pepper and what I usually do also, I will put some cayenne pepper in it or I will normally put some hot sauce in it, but I don't do that anymore, okay? Simply because I'm eating healthy. So I am gonna go ahead on and get this all mixed up in a bowl and I'm gonna take you along with me as I do that. I would like you to stay tuned. Do I look sleepy? Not to <laughs>
So, the reason why I put my barbecue sauce inside of the microwave is so that it can get heated. And when I pour the sauce on top of my ribs or my chicken, it can be able to um, stick. And then I also put it in the oven so it can be able to just marinate together and stick. Now, I don't leave it in the oven for long because, one, my ribs are already done because I slow cooked them already in the um, crock pot. And two, my sauce is already heated. So the, basically what I'm trying to, what I want to do, or what I'm trying to do, not really trying, but what I want to do is just I want the sauce to stick to my meat. That's the only purpose for my ribs going inside of the oven is so it can stick to my meat. Other than that, my food is complete. Um, yeah, so they are my ingredients that I use for my ribs, my tasty ribs. And also, I use the same ingredients for my barbecue sauce. Now, my barbecue sauce, I do not put in a crock pot. I put my barbecue, I mean, I put my chicken inside of the pan. And I just let it bake in the oven for like four or five hours. And then after it's completed baking, then um, I will make the sauce the same way how you saw me make it. And then I would just put it over top of my chicken and I would just let it bake inside um, all together so my sauce can stick to my chicken. Because one thing I do not like, I do not like runny barbecue sauce on my ribs or on my chicken. I want it to be able to stick. So when I pick it up, it's sticking to my hands and it's also sticking to my chicken. Have you ever eaten any type of like chicken or barbecue um, ribs and you pick it up and the sauce is just off the bone. It's just, it's not even sticking to the meat. This, ugh, that's just so disgusting. Yeah. And this is the finished product of my ribs. You see how that look? Beautiful. Just lovely. Lovely. And it's so tender. I'll pick it up with my finger. See how it just comes straight off the bone. Ow. Sticky. See how it tears apart? Ow, it's really, really hot. <laughs>